Hey guys, what's happening? So if you've been watching any of my previous videos, you know that I'm doing a brushless spindle upgrade on my uh, 3018 CNC. But one of the issues I'm having is that my controller uses a Mach 3 style uh, input signal, you know, 0 to 10 volt. And typically uh, a dribble board won't put off, you know, it, the spindle output is a pulse width modulated signal. And, uh, but it's not usually 0 to 10 volts. Something else. I was looking around, I don't know if I can, I can't really change it in software, it looks like. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. Um, if I wanted to like to re rewrite the code to do it. But they actually do make a device. I think it, it seemed like other people could use it. It's a little board I bought on Amazon. Put a link down below. But it's supposed to be able to take a pulse width modulated signal and step in half, 0 to uh, 10 volt. So designed for like industrial controls and that kind of stuff. But all right, so I'm gonna hook this up to my oscilloscope, and I'm gonna look at the current output of the uh, spindle motor. Uh, right now, I have a 12 volt input on it. So um, yeah, this video is probably not gonna get a lot of views, but I mean, it's better to have the information out there. I mean, probably it's gonna get like hardly any views. But you know, if anybody else is actually working on that or hasn't has the same problem, hopefully this will help them. So that's why I make these videos. Because most of my videos will get like zero views. Or hardly any. Um, okay, so I need to convert a pulse width modulated signal to a 0 to 10 volt output. So I'm going to turn my oscilloscope on and I get this set up here. Alright, so I had a look at the schematic, but so on this DLC 2.0 board, uh, you have basically three outputs. You have this right here, the J26 connector, and you have the uh, spindle motor and the laser. So these are actually controlled by this MOSFET, and I currently have it set to 50% output. Um, but <clears throat> off the processor, you basically have 5 volt coming off the processor, PW, pulse width modulated signal, and it comes out as 5 volt, but then it's stepped up using these MOSFETs to 12 volt to run the spindle. So on this particular mother motherboard, it's, it's, it's a 12 volt. On this one, the woodpecker is 12 volt, or 24 volt off the spindle. So they're stepping this up, but if you want to actually have it 5 volt, this is the signal you want to connect it to right here. This is actually coming off the, uh, what's it called, the uh, right off the processor. I'll show you that on my uh, oscilloscope. For some reason the voltage is not accurate if you look down below. But that should be about half of, uh, right now I'm 50%, you can tell by the waveform, uh, where the top and the bottom are even. That's 50% duty cycle at one kilohertz. So, but let me show you my multimeter real fast, so you can see. So let me show you on the multimeter. So, 50% of, or half of a 5 volt is 2.5 volt. So let me go on the output. 2.5 volt. So let me go over to Max. I'm going to use my Open Builds software here. So you should go to my Open Builds software. I'm going to change the spindle to 100%. And that should be 5 volt here. Uh, 5 volt on this pin right there. 5 volt max spindle. And on this, we're probably going to get, well, 12 volt, yeah. So I'm actually going to be using the 5 volt output, even though I could probably use either or. But there's no reason to go through this whole extra chain of MOSFETs and controls when I can go straight off the processor and have a cleaner signal. So I need to take the 5 volts step it up through my little board here, that little control board that I showed you, and hopefully I'm going to have a 0 to 10 volts. Hopefully this makes sense, I'm not sure. Alright, so most, like most things coming out of China, um, there's hardly any documentation, so VCC ground, that's power input, uh, obviously PWN's the uh, spindle input ground, voltage out ground that's going to the actual uh, brushless controller. I'm not sure what this pod is, this um, pentotriometer, or variable resistor. Um, also this right here, I heard that there's a couple different resistors in there, so depending which one you have it switched, it might activate this. I mean, I haven't looked at the, I haven't toned it out yet, but so if you can have like a 12 to 24 volt in, uh, PW input or like a uh, 5 volt. So I think by default it should be uh, 5 volt, but I'll have to figure it out. All right, so here it is. So I got a 12 volt supply voltage and then my PWM signal, which is going to be going 5 volt max, I'm going to send it 50%, 50% duty cycle, and hopefully 
I get 5 volt here. So I'm going to be sending it 2.5 volt and hopefully I'm going to be getting 5 volt out to send to the actual brushless controller. I don't know what this is yet. Maybe this is to adjust the uh, voltage, but we'll, we'll find out here. All right, let me get my multimeter and go into open builds and uh, set this thing to 50% on. And you can see the MOSFET activated. All right, I'm going to have to change my camera to get some multimeter view here. Yeah, like I said, I don't really have to do this on my oscilloscope, but I can just do my multimeter. But you're not going to see if it's actually digital or analog. So, but I'll hook up my oscilloscope too. So, input voltage is 2.3 volt. All right. So that should be more like around 2.5, 50 uh, percent due cycle. And let's test the voltage output of the device. It's 5.2 volt. Let's go back over to 100% duty cycle, well, 100% uh, spindle speed, 100%, S1000, okay, and this should be 5 volt. I don't know why the voltage is lower. I don't have a good connection, but it should be around 5 volt. Like this dude right here, let's see what happens here. Yeah, 4.7. So, maybe this thing's drawing some voltage down, but this should be somewhere around 10 volt. Because this would be max for, for the Mach 3 controller, right? Uh, 0 to 10 volt. This should be 10 volt max spindle. Yeah, I'm just bringing some here. And actually, I got it to work a little better by moving the jump around. But I started thinking, what if I put a resistor uh, right here? Coming off the yeah, 12 volt. 12 volt rail. Like this is a pulse width modulated coming off this MOS right here. So somewhere maybe putting some sort of resistance in there to bring the step it down to 10 volt. All right, so I think I might have found a solution. So this is actually called a voltage divider. And I have it connected to my 12 volt power supply. Put out 12 volts right now. And it's basically two resistors. So I have one on the negative side, I have one negative feeding one resistor. I have the positive input, you know, 12 volt feeding the other resistor. And the output, the 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 current between the two, the voltage between the two connected together goes to my volt multimeter. I have the ground connected here. So I'm inputting 12 volts and I'm getting out 9.97. I, I, I can adjust this by changing the resistors. But let me show you this. The, the critical part is, so this would be considered 100% spindle duty cycle. And then Mach 3 would see 10 volt, which is 100%. But you don't really want to use a linear voltage regulator because a linear voltage regulator would keep it, you know, what the, the constant voltage no matter what it is. So I'm going to turn this down. Let's say 50% spindle. All right, we'll go down to 6 volts. So that'll be around like 50% duty cycle or 50% uh, power on the spindle. And then Mach 3 wants to see 5 volt. So my MOSFET will be putting out 6 volt, but it's going to be sending 5 over back to, to Mach 3, the Mach 3 controller. Hopefully this makes sense. So a voltage divider. So I need to find a way to solder that into, um, like a, make it like a wire harness that built into it. But I think that will be the solution because it actually, uh, it goes down in direct parallel. Alright, so now yep. that I think i figured out a solution, uh, I'm going to reprint my box. Um, I, I don't need to include the MOSFETs here, but and uh, create like a special harness for this thing and uh, I think we're good. I mean hopefully we'll see how Mach 3 works. Um, but as long as you're saying, you know, 5 volt, 50% duty cycle, 10 volt maximum, that's how, how it wants to see it. So, um, alright, so I mean my other videos, I'm uh, doing the CNC brushless conversion and that's why I'm actually doing all this stuff now. I'm trying to figure it out. So, you know, because I'm printing out boxes and designing stuff, so I need to have everything figured out. Um, all right, guys, cool. Hope this helps somebody. I'm sure it's going to get a lot of views. You know, how many people are actually doing this stuff? Um, yeah, what's funny is my most popular videos are my low-tech videos that basically it's like fix a car or fix a dishwasher or whatever, you know, whereas these things get, like, no views. But, all right, cool.